Yeah, so I think big fours get away with not paying too well because they have the brand recognition and they know that people are willing to work there just to get the brand on their CV. Like if you don't want the job, no worries because there's going to be 10,000 other people behind you who would be willing to do it. So you have no leverage to negotiate. Um, I did end up checking the average uh, salary for um, the big four today. This is just a quick Google search. I don't know how accurate it is, but Glassdoor says that um, graduate salaries on average are now like 62,000. So this is 10 years later. I worked there in 2012. So 10 years later, you would expect a decent increase given cost of living, inflation, etc. But, you know, is 62,000 in Melbourne, if you were living in the city, if you had to pay rent, if you had to pay living expenses, like, it's not a lot compared, again, to the number of hours you work. But you do it for a few years and it sets you up quite well. Um, I should also point out that when I started at KPMG, I had some friends who started at Deloitte. They were getting paid 40, uh, uh, like a, a few thousand more than me. So a little bit more than me, but not a lot. And then I also had friends who worked at IBM as graduates and they got paid almost like eight to 10,000 more than me. So I think tech companies um, or tech service companies just generally pay more. And yeah, consulting, I think service, purely service orientated um, companies don't. But yeah, I don't know. 